Hello, I would like to introduce to you today the Swing Single Electric Breast Pump from Medella. In your packaging, you will see you get the complete breast pump unit, the mains adapter, a drawstring bag to carry it about with you, and the Colma top feeding device for express breast milk. So I'll run through all these items with you and show you how they are dismantled and put back together and how they work. But just to give you a little bit of background, Medella are a research-based breast pump and breastfeeding products manufacturer. Our breast pumps are used in 90% of the hospitals in the UK. Our two-phase expression is research-based and developed looking at how babies feed. And our retail pumps use that same technology. So I'll show you how it works. If we think about a baby breastfeeding, when the baby first latches on the breast, they use rapid sucks to stimulate mum's letdown, so the milk ejection reflex. And then when the milk's flowing, the baby slows down to a slightly deeper, slower suck to feed. And that's what we've looked at, that behaviour, and we've enabled our pumps to work in that way. So with the swing, what we need to do is to ensure that mum positions herself with the nipple as centrally as possible here in the breast shield. So to turn it on, you press the button at the top here, that's the on and off. So if I press that now, you'll see that the green light starts to flash. And if we look, the pump is doing rapid sucks. We call this the stimulation phase. And that's the first part of our two-phase expression. If we think about the baby, they're those little rapid sucks before the milk starts to flow. On the pump, these sucks are about two per second. And the pump will do these rapid sucks for two minutes. Mum can't change the speed on our pump because it's based on how babies do it. The only thing mum needs to alter for herself is the vacuum. And that's really important because it's individual to every mum. The way we change it is with the plus and the minus. So, to judge it, you turn it up until there's slight discomfort. Don't leave it there, then turn it back one or two with the minus. After the two minutes, the pump will slow down to the second part, which is the expression phase. If mum starts to see milk appear here before the pump has slowed down, she can slow it down herself just to save a little time. And the way you would do that is by pressing the button with the droplets on it. So if I press that now, you will see that the pump now has slowed down. And that's the expression phase. So that's how the milk will now be transferred from breast into the bottle. What we're looking for when mum's express is that the flow slows down after a while and it looks like it's almost stopped and to mum the breast feels soft. At that point give it another minute or so and then turn it off with the on and off at the top there. So that's the two phase expression. To show you how the pump goes together what you'll need to do for cleaning is to pull the tubing from the bottle unit. This part obviously doesn't want to be submerged in water. We don't need to wash the tubing either because it's just air going down here. So keep these parts dry and to one side. You've got a stand just to make sure it's secure on the worktop. So take that off, that's not coming in contact with the milk either. And then everything else is either screwed off like that or pulled apart. So remove the bottle, the breast shield, and then you'll notice there's a yellow valve with a white membrane that just pulls off the main part of the breast pump. On the yellow valve you have a white membrane. That needs to be again just pulled off there because we need to make sure that we're cleaning effectively um, all these little holes here in the yellow valve. Breast milk is quite fatty so we just need to make sure that all the fat and any residue of the breast milk is removed in thorough cleaning in hot soapy water. You can sterilise in your usual manner at home, whether that be steam electric, steam microwave, it's your choice and that's absolutely fine. 
To put these items back together, what you find on the back of the white membrane is a little half moon, and you've got a half moon hole on that yellow valve. So you just push one into the other, and then you'll see it's connected and it won't pull out. And then you take the yellow valve, the main part of the pump, pop that on there, and just push up with your thumb. The breast shield just pushes straight back in like that. And then you screw the bottle over the yellow valve. So line that up and screw that on. And then your tubing from the back motor unit goes into the top hole here. Nice firm push because obviously the breast pump works on good seals and vacuums. So make sure they're a nice firm fit. And that's the unit back together. We'll have a look now at the motor. So if I take the, the tubing off, what you've got here is your main motor unit. And as I said, it takes batteries or mains. So the battery uh, pack is in here. So it takes four AA batteries. There are two holes on the motor unit. And it's really important to make sure we're putting the right thing in the right hole. The tubing has a yellow triangle and you've got a yellow triangle on the hole there. So that's how we know that that's the hole for the tubing. So a good tight push. If you are using the mains, it's the other hole for the mains adapter. So if you're ever using your pump and find the vacuum really not working very well, there are a few things just to check. Firstly, I would check that the white membrane is correctly fitted to the yellow valve. That's really, really important. If the white membrane isn't on, the pump doesn't suck. If it's damaged, the vacuums will be decreased. So you really need to keep an eye on that, and you do get a spare in your box. So check that first and make sure that's on properly, and you know, it's fitting nice and flat to the yellow valve. Check there are no kinks in your tubing, and that you've got your tubing in the right hole. It's always really important as well to be upright when expressing. If you lean or tip, obviously, and overfill the bottle past the valve, the milk has to go somewhere, and you increase the risk of milk backtracking down the tube. Now, this rarely happens with our pump and shouldn't happen if used properly, but if you do overfill past that valve, you do increase the risk of milk backtracking. If that happens, the pump isn't broken, it still works efficiently, and you can clear that through the pump. I'll show you how you do it. In the back of here, in the battery pack, you'll notice there's a small sponge where the tubing enters the pack. So what you would do, you would turn the pump on and turn the vacuum up nice and high and run the pump so that anything in the tubing is drawn into the sponge there. When you've done that, take the sponge out wash it thoroughly, make sure it's dry, and then pop it back in. The swing breast pump comes with the Karma feeding device. This has taken many years of development and is a feeding device to deliver express breast milk in a safe and effective way to the baby when mum and baby are separated. So you would express into the bottle on the pump you can fit the bottle to the Karma top, like that. So now you have the complete Karma unit. If we think about babies breastfeeding, we know that they work to get the milk from the breast. It doesn't just drip into their mouth. And that's quite different to a regular teat. Because if you think about a regular teat, if you were to just to tip the bottle upside down, you would get a drip, drip, drip. With Karma, we've developed it so that it's baby-led, like breastfeeding. So that if I was to have liquid in here and tip it upside down, it wouldn't drip. It needs the baby to be using the same vacuum as they do at breastfeeding when they're feeding from Karma. To show you how it goes together, you've got the protective lid for the silicon. You unscrew the bottle. And then you have the Karma top. You have three pieces here. So what you do, you pop it down, push on the white ring at the bottom, and then you remove the silicon. 
To take the silicon completely off the second part, you would just invert the silicon around the edge like that and then hold under there and pull it off. So now you have the silicon on its own. You'll notice at the end of the silicon there's quite a large hole. Don't be scared by that. That's not um, regulating the flow of milk. The flow of milk is regulated by a very small hole in the middle of the second part of Kalma here with the bumps. So that's how Kalma is baby led. To put it back together, you take the silicon, once it's nice and clean, thoroughly washed, you can press here without touching the piece that's going, going to be in the baby's mouth. And you push that onto the, the part with the bumps. What we need to do now is flick down the edges of the silicon so they fit underneath the ridge. And then you'll notice there are three prongs underneath and this part has three holes. So you literally just push those together. And then Kalma is ready to either be fitted onto the bottle or its protective lid put underneath for transport.